yeah welcome to the class uh, of engineering mathematics in uh, first chapter is differential equations and their formation so in this uh, video i wanted to focus what is meant by the differential equation and what is the difference between the normal algebraic equation and the differential equation and then how many types of differential equations are there all these we will be discussing in this lecture so now first of all where do we use the differential equations these differential equations are mainly used many applications are there like when you define about the uh, you know the electric circuits the electric circuits and then you have suppose the growth and decay where we use the exponential functions for uh, growth and decay and all the engineering uh, mechanical problems all these etc there where we use we use the differential equations the differential equations so what is meant by the differential equation first of all so now for example if i have an equation of type Uh, let us write down this equation as x square plus 2x plus 3 equal to 0 all of you know this type of an equation correct this type of equations are called as the algebraic equations algebraic equations an equation which consists of the derivatives the coefficients or the derivatives like that suppose if i have a function an equation of type dy by dx plus x y is equal to some function e raised to x suppose then we are able to see that there is a derivative here dy by dx that means the co derivative coefficients are existing suppose then we say that it is a differential equation so what is meant by the differential equation means it's an equation in which the derivatives of the dependent variable y exists that is called as the differential equation so general form of the differential equation what is the general form of the general form of the differential equation what is it means suppose you have an equation of this type let us say uh any type of the equation like uh, let us write down first a not dy by dx plus a1 d square y by dx square plus a2 d cube y by dx cube anything like this where an into y is equal to 0 in this you have all the derivatives of the function the successive derivatives are the first derivative second derivative third derivative and so on all of them are there so those are called as the those uh, those are the determined differentiate coefficients are existing in this these equations are called as the differential equations so now when you have the differential equation there are two types of differential equations in this the differential equations where it depends upon the variables whether this depending on the which variable it is how many number of variables it is depending on that the differential equations have been classified into two that is one is ordinary differential equations ordinary differential equation and the other is the partial differential equation partial differential equation so ordinary means the ordinary derivatives like this a not dy by dx or d square y by dx square plus y is equal to 0 or f of x or something like that the ordinary derivatives are there if there are partial derivatives of the function f suppose do square f by do x square plus do square f by do y square is equal to 0 or f of x whatever so the function f is a function of two variables x and y so you have to define if there are two independent variables suppose 
then we have to do use the partial differential equation when there is only one independent variable it is the ordinary differential equation two or more independent variables not only this suppose you have dou square f by dou x square plus some x times of dou square f by dou y square plus some other dou square f by dou z square is equal to some function of x suppose then this is also a partial derivative where you have the partial derivatives are there so it is also called as a partial differential equation there here suppose i have d square y by dx square the second order the second derivative and then dy by dx and then plus some x times of y is equal to some function is there suppose all of them are having the ordinary derivatives means derivative d by dx d square y by dx square all this suppose then we say that this is the ordinary differential equations and these are the partial differential equations okay let us now understand now we are now in this uh, video in this lecture i am going to discuss only about the ordinary differential equations let me write down some examples of the ordinary differential equations for example i write the equation as dy by uh, dx plus 2y is equal to e raised to x or you may have the equation type d square y by dx square plus some eight times of dx square plus some um, uh, constant 8 times of d cube y by dx cube and the whole power something like 3 or something and is equal to some sin x this is also a ordinary differential equation let us have the another example like uh, d cube y by dx cube plus some uh, Seven times of d power five y over d x power five, the whole square is equal to cosine x like this. So these are some examples of the de ordinary differential equations. They are all having ordinary derivatives. So we say that these are the ordinary differential equations. I hope it is understood what is meant by the ordinary differential equation. What is meant by the differential equation? what is the difference between the normal algebraic function and the differential equation and what is the general form of the differential equation and how the differential equation has been divided into how many types of differential equations are there ordinary and partial partial differential equation consists of partial derivatives ordinary differential equation consists of them first order second order successive order uh, successively um, different derivatives so these type are the examples where you have derivatives as the coefficients you have suppose then we say that ordinary differential equations let us now go to the uh, some next next when we now you know about the what is meant by the differential equation so we have to discuss about how to define how to say what is the characteristic of the differential equation so that is given by the order and degree of a differential equation order and degree of the differential equation so let me write down first exam examples i write that some d square y by dx square plus d cube y by dx cube the whole square is equal to some sin x let us say now the second equation i just give that it is d cube y by dx cube plus some constant times of let us have some dy by dx the whole power 5 is equal to e raised to x suppose or some other equation of type uh, let us have d cube y by dx cube plus 2 d square y by dx square plus and let us have this as the power as 4 and plus dy by dx the whole power 5 is equal to 
cosine x something like this suppose so in this i want to discuss about the order and degree so what is meant by the order and degree before going to the definition i want to make sure that how to how to make you to understand what is meant by the order order is nothing but the number of the maximum number of derivatives whatever it is there that contributes the order here this is doing now in this term the sec like two times we are differentiating in this term we are differentiating three times so the maximum number of times we are differentiating suppose that number contributes the order hence the order of this equation is what 3 and coming to the degree degree means the power whatever the power of the highest order is called as a degree now the power is 2 here so the highest order uh, is 3 here so the degree is what 2 here now let us have some more examples now here i have d cube y by dx cube the degree the order is what how many times we have differentiated three times here it is only one time but the power is 5 here so now what is the order here the order is 3 and the degree is 1 not 5 it's not 5 why it's not 5 why because we have to consider only the power of the highest derivative remember not the highest derivative power of the highest derivative we have to see and that is what the degree of the equation and next the order is here the highest order we are we are able to see it is 3 so this is 3 and the power is what the power of this higher order is what 4 so the degree of this equation is 4 even though there is degree here 5 but we are not bothered about that why because we are we wanted only for what we need we need for this as the power of the highest derivative is called as the degree so this is what about the order and degree let us do some more problems on this order and degree so that it is more clear now if i have so uh, one more thing you have to understand is the order and degree is always a positive number positive integer suppose you have the equation um, some d cube y by dx cube plus square root of dy by dx plus is equal to some 4 times of xy so here what is the order now the power is what here whenever you have the power as a fraction suppose the dy by dx is having the power as 1 by 2 correct so this is having the power as 1 by 2 and this is the power as 1 whenever you see that there is a fraction in the power immediately whatever the denominator is there that means here it is what actually dy by dx the whole power half correct and this is d cube y by d x cube is equal to 4 x y correct now in this the power is half and here the power is 1 so but we don't we don't write the power as a degree as 1 because there is a power here half so what we do whatever the denominator is there with that denominator you raise the power that means raising the power to 2 so this is what we are going to do so now what is the order here very much clear it is 3 and when you raise the power here i will do here only when you raise the power here as 2 d cube y by dx cube the power as 2 we are increasing and d y by dx the whole power 1 by 2 the whole power 2 it is 1 and plus some constants will be there we are not bothered about that we need only the order for the highest order what is the degree it is equal to 4xy the whole power 2 whatever this calculation is not needed we are bothered about we are focusing only on what is the power of this highest derivative now what is the power of the highest derivative has become now 2 so whenever there is a fraction you have to raise the power with that particular fraction for the whole equation then we will understand we can get the a uh, degree which is always a positive number degree cannot be negative degree cannot be uh, the fraction okay that's a note you can write it as
then let us have one more problem on this type where this type of variety suppose i have a function of type d square y by dx square is multiplied by dy by dx and then you have d square y by dx square the whole cube is there suppose and then it is equal to sum 2 or something like this suppose now what is the order here the order of this equation is what actually it is how many times we have differentiated here it is d square y by dx square into dy by dx so the order is what here it becomes uh, as uh, 2 okay this is also 2 but this is 1 right so we consider only this order as 2 and this order 2 and the degree is 3 so the order is 2 and degree is 3 we don't consider this one as uh, the third order okay it is your mul just multiplying the second order equation second order derivative with the first order it doesn't mean that it is third order okay so the order is 2 here and the degree is what 3 is that clear i'll have some more examples for order and degree uh, let us have suppose some d cube y by dx cube minus uh, something some 6 y the whole power 1 by 4 is there suppose is equal to some 3 times of d power 4 y by dx power 4 the whole square suppose it is like this suppose then what we do we have to see the highest order it is very much clear that the highest order is 4 the highest derivative is 4 so order is 4 now can you write down directly what is the degree here the power is 2 you cannot write it is not 2 okay it is not 2 remember why not 2 because there is a fraction so what we do when there is a fraction we raise the power in the, as the denominator so raise the power as 4 and then the power as 4 if you raise then it is 8 understood 4 into 2 it is 8 we are raising the power that is what the important thing you should understand we are raising the power here to 4 here also we have to raise the power to 4 then what happens 1 by 4 1 4 gets cancelled here on the left side on the right hand side it is 4 into 2 is 8 so the order is 4 and degree is 8 i hope it is very much clear about the order and degree of the differential equations thank you in the next class, in the next video, I want to give the explanation about the formation of integration.